Hi, and welcome to the shop at Stoll Creek Aviation. Today we have a Just Aircraft Highlander with a 912 ULS engine in the shop. This aircraft is just past the 600 hour mark. A customer has brought it in to get the 600 hour Rotax gearbox inspection completed. Follow along as I tear down, inspect, and reassemble this gearbox, get you some more understanding of what's inside there and how it works. Okay, so I got this gearbox off of that Highlander, the 912 ULS now. We got that in our hand. We're going to disassemble it. We're going to stick it on the press and we'll be able to press down and take our ring halves out so these gears, the clutch pack, dog hub and everything can come out of there. And we're at, we're at 600 hours on this engine and gearbox. Um, don't expect to find anything wrong. We're just opening it up, going to inspect to see that the prop chef's blinds are good shape, the dog ears aren't overly worn, that it's shimmed properly. This gearbox will start wearing out faster if the uh, it's not shimmed properly. And then also this engine has been running on some ab gas, which can get some lead build up in the clutch packs. This customer is pretty good about running Declan and that helps, but we're going to pop the clutch apart just to clean the clutch packs out to keep the clean the lead out of there so that it's good to go again, reset the uh, breakaway tension on that. Um, they tend to tighten up with lead buildup to where the breakaway torque increases, which isn't good. But I'm going to stick this on the press. We'll get these uh, ring halves out and get this taken apart. Now we can start pulling it off. We've got gear here. Here's our phenolic washer. That's something that just gets replaced. That's a wear item. Just replace that every time we're in here, along with the ring halves. We've got one set of the dog ears. They don't look too bad. There's a little bit of, it looks like galling that is very normal. We just don't want any excess. This one doesn't look too bad at all. There's our clutch pack. The other thing I didn't mention is that I go, these dog ears, they, with three teeth, they fit in there and I mark on the front side of this so that when I get this taken apart, when I go back together, that I can put, index those three teeth exactly where they were because they kind of wear into each other and it uh, sometimes will start chirping, making a little noise if you install that differently going forward. Okay, here's our prop shaft. So we're gonna we're gonna look at that. It's gonna be hard to see on the camera. We're gonna be looking at these splines, the uh, the dog hub gear that slides up on on down on on those spleens tend to uh, cause some wear on those. I'm looking at it. I'm barely even gonna see anything, much less feel anything with my fingernail. Looking pretty good there.
There's our main bearing and washer there. So I'm going to take these parts, I'm going to run these through the parts cleaner, I'll run this housing through my plastic media blaster, clean that housing up, get that surface ready to seal up again, run all these parts through the cleaner, do a better inspection on them, and then I'll get this clutch pack taken apart and we will get those clutch packs cleaned up. Now we got we got our clutch pack here and I put it on my fixture took my little spanner wrench here that grabs in there so from this and I did that on the fixture and I can get this clutch pack apart. Got the compression springs there and then we've got a whole stack Our clutch plates. So that's what we got here. We got all those little clutch packs in there, and that's what we're going to be cleaning. So we take this all apart. Take these little pieces. They're actually I've got a little solvent bath here. You don't want to put these in your solvent tank with all your other stuff. It'll contaminate these packs. So I got a little just thing here fresh and I'll go through with a little brush and brush all the lead out, all the contaminants out and then we'll put it back together set the breakaway torque. Alright so we got all our parts washed we've got a new seal put in the housing I just heated this housing up so it's quite warm put a glove on just got the bearing out of the freezer this bearing goes close side down. We've got to put this radius ring in first. If you don't do that you're mad at yourself. This bearing needs to slide right in there. There it goes, right to the bottom. So we slide that bearing in there and then I've got Loctite. Four retaining bolts in. Hold that bearing in. gearbox back together. I'm going to put some silicone on there. Put this gearbox back on the airplane.
So I got all the old silicone cleaned off that flange. Just got our new silicone put on this flange. We're going to slide her back together. Make sure the gears mesh. We don't want to pull this together with any of the bolts because we could damage something and there it just slid up so we can put our put our screws in now torque them down <laughs> 